Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Welcome also to my YouTube channel if you are new around here. Um, thank you for finding me. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome to your first video and today I am filming a current favourites video. I do have a few of these on my channel already but I wouldn't say they're a very reoccurring video. Um, that's kind of why I'm filming it today because I feel like I haven't done one for a little while and I know that some people do enjoy these. Um, we've got a whole mismatch of things. We've got clothing, some jewellery, accessories, makeup. Um, yeah, like I say, just a whole mismatch of things. Um, I'm going to try and group them together to make it a little bit more logical as we go through everything. Um, so yeah, sit back, relax. There are a fair few things, so this might be a lengthy video. Um, so get a drink of choice as well. Um, but if you do enjoy it today, then please do give this video a big thumbs up as well. It just lets me know to continue to make more videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, so you never miss a video from me either. But otherwise, I am gonna start with, um, I think I'm gonna start with kind of the makeup bits and pieces. So yeah, I think we're going to start with kind of like beauty products, that kind of thing. So the first thing I've been loving, and I know I'm late to the party, but this is my first bottle of this and it is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, um, which obviously is meant to kind of lock your makeup in place all day. Now I've always been sceptical about these kind of things. Um, I've tried various other ones in the past and I just feel like they didn't really do anything like whether I wore it or not it didn't make a difference so I felt like it was just more of a gimmick but I've heard such good things about this one um I did decide to try this one and I've been converted um like I said I was really skeptical of them at first so I promise you if you were like that as well and you haven't tried this like it literally does keep your makeup in place for as long as you want it to um in my opinion especially on nights out and stuff like that it helps to keep it look like as much the same as when you first put it on kind of thing you know sometimes your makeup can wear off especially if you're on a night out or things like that but this honestly works um i'm trying to remember the retail price of this i want to say it's like 20 pounds so again it's not the cheapest but it, i promise you it's so well worth it now I'm at the point that if I do forget to spritz my face with this before I go out and then I remember I'm like I like kind of kick myself um like it really annoys me if I don't use this now so this is something that I wear every single time I put makeup on now um I'm wearing it today this makeup has been on since about 9am this morning and it's currently 10 to 3 um so yeah I literally haven't touched up any of my face or anything like that I actually haven't even touched on my lipstick we're coming on to that in a sec um but yeah highly highly recommend this one okay so i just touched on my lipstick but it's not actually the lipstick i'm going to be talking about um if you are curious the lipstick i'm wearing and actually do you know what i, I wasn't going to include this but i will actually include it now i've mentioned it is the charlotte tilbury penelope pink lipstick it looks quite like a brownie nude here I think it looks a little bit more pink in person um this was actually my wedding my lipstick i wore for my wedding so um that's really nice as well and obviously charlotte tilbury packaging is just gorgeous anyway so yeah penelope pink lipstick and i'm wearing mac strip down lip liner um however on the top of that i picked up this art deco magic fix um so it's in this little bottle i actually ordered this from amazon a few weeks ago um i did an amazon haul recently but this just didn't arrive in time for that haul so i wasn't able to include it um i'm pretty sure this was 10 pounds but essentially you pop this over the top of your lipstick once you've done it so it's a little brush and you yeah you just put it over the only thing i will say it's very like a taste of alcohol um almost like hairspray um which kind of makes sense because I guess hairspray keeps your hair in place and this is exactly what this is meant to do for your lipstick um so I wouldn't recommend if you've got like kind of chapped lips or anything like that because it will probably sting um but as I said this lipstick I've had on since I did my makeup this morning 
I promise you I have not topped this buck up. Um, and I've eaten breakfast, I've had a cup of coffee, I've been sipping on my bottle of water here. So this for me, I think is a game changer. Um, I think this is something I'm gonna be continuing to repurchase because it's actually one of my pet peeves that you put lipstick on and like you have a drink and you already need to reapply it. Um, I think this is amazing for £10. Um, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's like, it looks exactly the same as when I first put it on this morning, but it's it's way better than when it kind of wears off. Um, like I say, within 10 minutes. So yeah, another highly, 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 highly recommended product. The next thing I picked up is a bit of a dupe for one of my perfumes. Um, so a perfume that I do um, really like, is it one of my favorites? I guess it is, um, is the Lancome Livia Bell. Um, it's kind of like a really sweet smell, but quite, I wasn't, I was gonna use the word heavy, but that makes it sound horrible. <laughs> but it is, it's quite a strong perfume. It's more like an evening one for me rather than everyday wear. Um, also in a beautiful bottle, but it's expensive, okay? So I picked up the um, dupe from, um, a website called the Essence Vault Fragrances. So it's this little bottle here. This is the 144. So this is, like I say, the dupe for the Lancome one and they do dupes of various others. So they do it for um, Alien. I'm pretty sure they do it for YSL Libra. Like, lo like loads of different ones. Um, when I tell you this smells exactly the same, it just does. <laughs> like there's no, you can't argue it. Um, kind of annoyed that I've been repurchasing the Lancome one for so long because yeah it kind of drains your bank account a bit and these are now I've got to remember how much they were I want to say they're $14.99 something like that when I actually bought it it was buy one get one free or buy one was it buy one get one free maybe they're $19.99 I think I got two for £20 basically. Um, this is the 30ml bottle. They do also do a larger size bottle as well. This was the first time I purchased it, so I went for the smaller one because I wasn't sure how good it was gonna be. Um, but yeah, like I say, I highly recommend. It does come in a box as well, so I think these also make lovely, lovely gifts. Um, if you know someone's favorite kind of designer perfume, um, I think these are amazing. Also, the longevity of them, they do last. I know like, you know like the Zara perfumes or like body sprays, things like that, they don't necessarily last that long on your on your body, but this definitely does. Um, <laughs> this top actually I wore yesterday with this perfume. When I took it out, um, my wardrobe again today, I could still smell the perfume on it. Um, so yeah, in my opinion, they're definitely worth the money. Um, and no one, no one knows. If people know the Lancome Livia Bell scent, and you're wandering around and someone smells it, they would think, oh, they're wearing the Lancome. No one knows. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about, I should have actually spoken about, probably in the beginning, because I'm actually wearing them, but it is this pair of jeans. So they're really high waist. Have I shown these in a haul? I don't know if I have. Um, I'm gonna to have to step back. Um, they're quite kind of severely, <laughs> ripped and really quite baggy i refer to these as um like my avril lavigne skater boy <laughs> um jeans i also think they're very 90s but the best thing about these jeans is the back um i love this tie up corset detail i think that is just lovely um also the hem of these is quite like ripped and distressed I'll come back now um but yeah i love 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 these jeans i'm pretty sure they're from i think they're from miss pap um i got mine in a size 12 if you're wondering i would say they come up quite like big like I do have kind of a bit of rim in here so i could have potentially got a 10 in these i would normally be a 12 in jeans so just worth bearing in mind um don't know if they still have these but i will try and link some for you guys like similar ones if the, if i can't find these exact ones but i literally live in these and i think because of that detail at the back it just makes them a bit different um and i have actually had quite a few comments every time i've worn them um 
that people really like that aspect of the jeans as well. So yeah, I wanted to mention those. And then another thing I wanted to mention is actually some jewellery that I'm wearing. Um, so this is a little new bracelet of mine with the little A initial and this is from a brand called Clobo um, online. They do so many little bracelets like this um, that are perfect to, for like stacking as well. I have obviously just got the one but it's so so pretty. They're quite like dainty and delicate. I've never really been into bracelets. Um, but yeah, more and more, I feel like they're becoming popular and I'm definitely liking them as well. And then the next one I wanted to mention is actually a fake. Um, I've got this fake kind of Cartier inspired bangle on. Um, this was actually from DH Gate that do complete dupes of designers. So they do like designer Louis Vuitton, um, like anything you can imagine, Dior, Chanel, like loads of things in like jewellery and everything like that so I picked up the yeah the Cartier inspired bangle um and this was 20 pounds so <laughs> really inexpensive it does also claim that it doesn't tarnish which I really like the same with the Clobo one as well um if you know about the Cartier bra bracelets to get them on and off you get a little screwdriver with them which you got with this like fake one as well so once it's on, it's a bit annoying to take off, put back on. So I, ever since I got this and put it on, I've been sleeping in this. I've been like having showers in it. Um, and it looks exactly the same still as it first did. And I've had it about two months now. So, so far, so good with that one. And then the last bracelet that I got, um, I haven't actually put on today. Also from DHK is a dupe of the, hopefully you know, is it Arpels and Van Cleef or Van Cleef and Arpels? It's something like that. Um, but yeah, it's like little four leaf clovers. Um, I went for the white, which is actually like a mother of pearl type one in person. I don't think you can really tell on camera, but it is like mother of pearl. Um, again, just really pretty. I normally wear, oh, so you can get the vibe. I normally wear like, all three of them together and I just think they look really pretty. Um, again, I've had a few comments on this bracelet. I think um, Molly May kind of made this quite popular. You can also get the matching necklace and everything like that, but I just picked up the bracelet. And again, I paid 20 pounds for this one. So nothing crazy. And again, this one does also claim that it doesn't tarnish. And again, I have, when I've worn this one, worn it in the shower and everything like that. And again, so far so good so get yourself on dh gate if you like a bit of designer inspired things kind of without the price tag oh i actually forgot i picked up something else from dh gate i actually um i have yet to use this but i know i'm gonna get so so much wear out of it so i actually picked up one of the jacquemus jacquemus um little bags from dh gate um, this was a little bit more expensive. I think this was 40 or 45, but it is still a really nice quality little handbag. So I picked up this one. I love this handle design. Obviously you can just hold it like that, but it does also come with the crossbody strap as well, which just clips on at the side here. Um, obviously it's got the Jacquemus, the famous Jacquemus logo as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought this is a really staple little black bag. The reason I haven't used it yet is I feel like it lends itself a little bit more to winter, maybe because it's black. Um, I kind of want to get my hands on a white version of this, or maybe like, I've seen the, do you know the one I really like is the beigey linen one. I haven't actually seen that on DHK, but maybe one day they'll bring that out. I might have to bite the bullet and get the... <laughs> The real one um because actually as designers go it's they're not nothing crazy like the prices of chanel and stuff like that but yeah again if you want that kind of effect no again no one's really gonna know to me this still looks like a really nice expensive handbag um and like i said i think i'm definitely gonna get so much wear out of that it's actually the perfect size to fit my phone in like my purse a lipstick for a night out um so yeah a perfect little bag 
And moving on to clothing, I wanted to share this little two piece that I recently picked up from Primark that I have been living in. Honestly, when I, um, I don't really know what to wear and it's quite like hot and warm outside, like today it's really sunny, um, but I still wanna look a bit more put together. I've been reaching for this. So it's this little Primark two piece um these cute little linen white and beige striped shorts just with an elasticated waist they're also a really good length they definitely like cover my bum and everything so i love that fact and also the little matching top um that looks like this so little v-neck quite like floaty oversized sleeves but they're cuffed um as well which kind of cinches cinches them in um, I'm going to try and do up this little bow just so you can see what the middle of the top looks like. But yeah, it has another bit of fabric so you can tie it up, which opens up um, like a little bit of your stomach area. But I actually find that really flattering, especially on my body shape because the shorts, the shorts are high waisted as well. Um, I will insert a picture somewhere because there is a picture of me in this little two piece. Um, yeah i just love it i got the shorts in a uk 14 actually just so that i guess they were a bit more floaty and what size did i get the top in the top i went for a 12 i'm pretty sure i actually wanted the top in a 10 but they didn't have it um where's the label yeah size 12 um in the little top but yeah it's so nice and breathable because obviously it's a nice thin linen fabric so although it's long sleeve it's really really nice in the summer um and yeah i just love this so much i actually um today i went to primark and i picked the same little top up just in plain white um i also looked for the matching shorts but i couldn't see those which was a little bit annoying but i've got so much wear out of the striped one i thought i will get as much wear out of the um just the plain white one as well that you could just wear with like denim um and stuff as well Okay, sticking with the clothes and also another two piece that again I've been living in. This is actually my airport outfit um, for holiday and it is this little set from Adenola. So um, I love like the Adenola branding. I think it's really cute. A little bit more on the pricey side, um, but so worth it. Like these are so well made and thick. They've got like a little drawstring inside, um, which I like because it from the outside they look quite plain they also have pockets again which i love they're not super high-waisted but i do pull them up and they can still sit high-waisted i guess it just makes them slightly shorter but they're still quite a good length um as well so that doesn't really bother me they do have a little pocket on the bum as well i just love this color i'm really into like green and yellow and everything like that so sorry guys my memory card was just telling me that it was full so i just had to delete some old clips um but yeah i think i was just going to say about these shorts as well that i got them in a size large um to me these aren't i wouldn't say they're large um to me these are like a size 10 to 12 so that's kind of worth bearing in mind um yeah just in terms of sizing but these also come with of course the matching um kind of sweatshirt i say come with you do buy them separately which is quite good because if you're different sizes on your top and bottom you can mix and match however i did also go for the sweatshirt in a large just because i like that oversized look and i would say the sweatshirt is more like a large than the bottoms are um and i love the back of this one as well because it's got the big adenola logo on the back um it's just it's quite a nice weighty heavy sweatshirt this one which i really really like um but at the same time it's not like fleecy or anything inside it's quite like textured um so it's kind of like thin but it still feels like good quality if that makes sense um so yeah i love this again it's something i've been living in not so much the sweatshirt but definitely the shorts with like little tops like this little white crop tops and things um because obviously it's summer, I haven't really been reaching for the sweatshirt, but I know I'll still get lots of wear out of this over the next few months. If you're not a fan of this kind of lime green colour, they do do um, more of a sage, is it sage? Yeah, like a muted sage green, kind of almost verging on really pale blue, like dusky blue. Uh, and I'm sure they do a teal colour as well. And 
smell so actually like a turquoise they do quite ni a few um nice colors but i went for the green i actually think it goes quite nice with a tan as well so yeah i wanted to mention this again on the clothing side of things i wanted to show you some gym shorts that i've been loving i've recently joined the gym um i've actually been sticking at it for a change so i picked up a few pairs of shorts again because it's quite hot although the gyms are air conditioned i've been liking working out in shorts rather than kind of gym leggings so i got these ones from asos actually um but they are adidas branding I love this colour, um, I think it's again really really nice for summer, obviously you can see they've got the Adidas classic stripe and logo down the side and then the other side just the stripe detail, these also have pockets um, which I appreciate and they also have the drawstring again on the inside so you can um, like cinch them in at the waist because these are also fairly high waisted which again I really really like again a really good length for shorts um I never keep shorts that essentially like almost show my bum um I'm really quite picky so yeah I love these for that I got these ones in a UK size 12 and I would say they are the perfect fit for me um the best thing about these when I picked them up this was a few weeks ago now um, from ASOS they were reduced and I'm pretty sure I paid it was between 12 and 15 pounds so, and I think for Adidas that is amazing so hopefully these are still in stock for you guys because um, again I have been reaching for these ones every time I go to the gym if I don't reach for those ones I did also pick up another pair um, of Adidas shorts from ASOS again um, these are more recent I only got these maybe two weeks ago or maybe not even that but these ones are in this really bright green color um and essentially the same thing they've got the stripes down the side they've got pockets again um but the adidas logo is kind of on the front this time instead of by the stripes they're a slightly different fabric they almost feel a bit more waterproof kind of um they've got kind of the netting inside and again they do have the drawstring waist which is inside as well so it's all sort of tucked away um again really good length for shorts um if anything they're kind of a little bit oversized which um i don't mind and i believe i also got these in a 12 yeah these in a uk size 12 as well again the fit is really really nice um on these ones and these were also in the sale on asos so if you're interested definitely go on ASOS rather than maybe like the actual Adidas website because they have some great deals. Okay, and that actually brings me on to the final thing. Um, I have actually shared this in a video recently. It was in my Amazon haul, but along the gym theme, I just wanted to share the headphones um, that I showed there because again, I have been loving these and these are definitely a favorite. They obviously come with me every single time I go to the gym. I've been going there for about six or seven weeks now um these are the dupe of the apple airpods by lenovo um they still come in the little carry case that you charge you get like the little usb with it um and they're obviously the wireless still uh just look like this and they're literally i actually paid five pounds for these i think amazon it does fluctuate like it goes up and down but yeah i literally paid 4.99 and they were on amazon prime so free delivery um, even better but I've had no issues with these so far for a fiver I was skeptical but the reviews were so good I thought I would just try them and they've been amazing so I was actually toying with just biting the bullet and paying I don't know what they 150 pounds for the apple ones um and I'm so glad I didn't honestly so if you're maybe toying with the idea of getting the apple ones as well maybe just give these a go first um and see how you get on because like I said, I haven't seen any difference. Mark owns the actual Apple ones that I've kind of used before. And in my opinion, they're literally like on par. Um, so yeah, you can definitely save a little bit of money that way. Right then guys, that is the end of today's video. Um, I feel like that was quite a long one. My throat <laughs> feels quite dry. I feel like I've been talking a lot. Um, so hopefully I haven't rambled too much and you guys did actually enjoy that video. Um, as I said, let me know if you like this style of video and I will try and do more. Because like I said, I think I've only done a few on my channel um, to date. So 
yeah let me know um give this video a thumbs up also subscribe if you're not already um go back and check out those other favorite videos if you haven't already um i feel like these sorts of videos they're so broad there's maybe something in them for everyone um as well oh my god i forgot <laughs> i wanted to share this as well how did i forget this it's literally right in front of me i'll quickly show you now um this is actually kind of a jeep but it's some alcohol i don't know if i should be promoting alcohol on youtube but this is from audi it's called apparini let me guess what this might be a Jeep for. This is the Jeep for the Aperol, if you're a fan of an Aperol spritz like me. Um, yeah, this is actually my second bottle of this. Um, I wouldn't say it's like an exact Jeep, but this is 6 dollars from Aldi. And I'm pretty sure the Aperol, it kind of ranges between 16 to 18 or 20 pounds, depending on what supermarket you get it in. Um, and this is literally like the same kind of vibe at least anyway it's 11 percent alcohol so i don't know if that's weaker than the original aperol but obviously if you know about aperol spritz you know you mix it with soda water and prosecco anyway so if it is a little bit less alcohol i mean that's fine with me but yeah sorry i forgot that one but i really wanted to mention that because like i say it's my second bottle um, so if you're a fan of an Aperol Spritz, definitely try out the Aldi version as well. Um, but yeah, that is definitely this time the final item. So thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you've made it till the end. And hopefully I'll see all of you in my next video. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.